I have commuted to the shed today uh, to do some video editing um, for work and it was a good opportunity to go for a little blat on the little R7. I need a break from the video editing so I'm going to just get my stuff ready for this weekend's track day which will be my sixth track day. The fifth track day didn't quite go as I had planned. Track day number five, third day on the 848 EVO. And today, um, I guess I'm kind of figuring out what rhythm I like to do on a track day. So first session, I'm not even gonna bother filming. I'm uh, just gonna go out and relax and actually see how the new steering damper on the 848's feeling. And then uh, in the second session, my plan is just to consolidate what I was working on last time, which is a little bit more of uh, on the brakes or on the throttle and, and no posting. And then I'll get into today's practice, which is gonna be getting more of my upper body into the turns. So we'll see how that pans out. The riding went, went really well. Um, I was practicing my um, body position mostly, trying to get my head um, to follow <laughs> the rest of my body off the side of the bike for the corners. So that was really good and that was fun, but um, I had tech problems. The tech problems were with the GoPro. Um, I have been experimenting with different mounts on the 848. And I don't think it's the mounts that are the problem, but whatever screws and um, mounts I was using on the camera, it just wouldn't hold it still. So after a lap or two, the camera would just lay itself flat and get wonderful footage of the sky above Lakeside. I was using the GPS or trying to use the GPS on the GoPro uh, because there are some apps you can get that will capture that data out of your GoPro videos and uh, help you measure different things um, on the track, like your lap times, which I'm not so interested in, but also the um, sometimes lean angle uh, uh, and braking and accelerating into and out of corners. And I thought some of that data would be good to play with, uh, just as feedback on how different things that I experiment with uh, work out and how they um, affect, ultimately how they affect lap times. But I'm not hung up on lap times. I'm way too much of a novice to worry about that. So hopefully I will get um, some decent footage <laughs> if the camera can stay mounted properly uh, and also uh, some good GPS data to, to play around with, which will be fun. I'm still figuring what sort of stuff I want to take to the track. Um, th this is way overkill because uh, when I go there, I'm usually very graciously hosted by um, Moto Garage, um, Brett, uh, who is my mechanic. But I don't know, there's a part of me that just likes to be independent if I need to be. So um, I try to remember to take the things that um, I may need on a track day. This is just a little first aid kit. I got it for free when I did a motorcycle training course last year. Now, the fifth track day, even though there's not much data and not, not really much evidence at all, or all of um, how I was going with my body position progression, but it was an excellent day. It just seemed quiet. I had a lot of time after each session to just sit down, have some electrolytes, and reflect on the session. I haven't done that before, uh, and I found it really useful. Um, I think it really heightened my awareness of things that I was doing in each session that were okay and things that I wanted to improve on. It also helped me figure out what I really wanted to focus on in the next upcoming session. And in a way, it just kept me really focused and calm and, well, I don't usually have problems staying calm, but uh, really focused on the day and being very present with it and enjoying it, getting the most out of it still having a little bit of social interaction with the, the other Moto Garage people and um, 
others who would walk by to admire the 848 uh, or whatever. So, yeah, I think being an introvert, I really liked that, that slower, quiet vibe and that time to, to reflect after each session. For the first session on the fifth day is the same as the first session on any, any track day that I've had and probably any track day I'm ever gonna have. And that is really just to, to ride out there and get into a bit of a groove. It always takes me at least a session to warm up. Um, the second session I was still warming up a little bit, but um, I think I got into it um, partway through the second session and, and really started to, um, to go back to practicing what I had on the, on the fourth track day. The third session is when I really started switching on and trying to work more on my upper body. it feels so clunky like is it I thought that it would be a really easy intuitive thing to learn but I'm not finding it that way at all during the second session uh, my boot uh, scraped on the second apex coming out of uh, eastern loop and it did that also on the super sport but the um, the rear sets on the 848 are, are higher so the fact that that happened kind of irked me a bit and um, made me think, well, hey, I really should be getting this body position stuff sorted out because if my knee's not touching down but my boot is, I've got something quite wrong. Uh, no issues with traction, though. Uh, the bike just felt like it was on rails, um, just smooth and, and very um, confidence-inspiring through the corners. I only stayed for four sessions on the fifth day. Um, I was just feeling really tired from work, I think and didn't want to risk um, making a silly mistake, of course. <laughs> so uh, keep the ego in check and um, decided to pack up and, and call it a day. But I was really satisfied with the day because I think because of that reflection after each session and, and having a really deliberate thing to practice, I really, really enjoyed uh, the time that I did have there. So Race Chrono is the app that I'm using to get the GPS data out of the GoPro footage and uh, create um, gauges actually that I can put on the videos that show things like lean angle and speed and uh, braking forces. And so I'll see how that goes. I'm really hoping that the track day number six video will include um, a lot of that, that data. This is future Stace after the sixth track day and what you're looking at is my best attempt to get GPS data out of the GoPro. Uh, the squiggle up in the top left corner is supposed to be the lakeside track but it really doesn't look much like that so consequently my data of speed and who knows what else just isn't going to be usable uh, relying on the GoPro. I don't know that I'm quite ready to get a proper lap timer yet. I'm wondering if there's a way to mount um, a Garmin on my um, bike somewhere, one that I've used um, for my mountain bikes and road, road bicycles over the years, uh, just to get some data. Um, we'll see though, uh, but I do think a proper lap timer is inevitable. The data is my career, so I'm pretty keen on um, playing around with it and seeing what I can get out of it for learning purposes. Uh, again, I wanna keep my ego out of it and not be too worried about lap times. I think speed, is a consequence of smoothness and technique. Um, and therefore my attention is on smoothness and technique. And every track day, I'm, I'm trying to learn something a little bit different. And uh, that said, this sixth track day coming up, I don't think I am going to try something else to learn. I think I'd like to spend the day just consolidating what I have been practicing so far, which is mostly the body position, the no coasting, uh, vision through the corners, you know, some of those fundamentals, uh, but kind of integrating it without too much, um, too much seriousness, because I think having fun is, is really important. And if I relax and enjoy it, then a lot of those things should just come together naturally, I hope anyway. So yeah. 
That's the intention for track day number six. I hope I get better footage for my sake, as well as for um, your sake, or if, if you end up watching it. Um, and if you end up watching it, I'll see you then. Bye.